I bring him a social table. Were you equally elated about the announcement? Well, yeah, I mean, personally for me, it was uh, gratifying. Um, like I said, look, uh, I don't know whether you recall the role of the media, you know, in fighting for, uh, against the annulment. Um, it was the, it was uh, one of the high points of um, civilization, the way Nigeria reacted to it. Uh, a lot of people tried to reduce it to uh, an ethnic struggle. It was part of the strategy of uh, trying to uh, sustain the annulment. But you could see that people took positions on it. People were never politicians. People were not even partisans. You know? But you come back to today, precisely what people didn't, what that June 12th did not intend is the way people are reacting to it. Looking at it, as my friend has said, as political master stroke. That's not the purpose it should serve. You know, you can rectify an error. You don't have to have an ulterior motive or input malice or political upmanship to it. You do not have said to say that people who profited from it. Because the blames can go around. After all, the President Buhari was the chairman of PTF under Abacha's government. So if you want to make these kind of points, you are just trivializing, you know, uh, you know the, what the government itself has done. It's a good step. As I said, I mean, personally for me, I've argued it both in private and in public. I think it's, for me, it's a superior date. If you are looking for a democracy day, it's a superior day to that of May 29th. That's my own personal view. So it's not something that, but again, you know, it shows the, the way, uh, if, if you are doing something out of a noble motive, in good faith, you don't do it the way it is being trumpeted around. Which way is that? The way he's saying that it's a political master stroke. No, but that's his own interpretation. What? No, 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 no. It's not his interpretation. You read the, uh, the president's spokesman calling it a tsunami, political tsunami. That is not what June 12 meant. June 12 meant to a superior political attitude. It represented unity. It was not a divisive issue that the way they are making it to do now. <laughs> it's not an LPC issue. Yeah, but but you know, some of the underlying or the backstory, something, is it? Uh, if I understand what, where he was going, mm -hmm. he might have been suggesting that former President Obasanjo could have done this, but he didn't. Well, listen, look, that is one of that is one aspect of it that I don't think people should. You don't need to go there. You can say it in passing. There have been reactions about it. Look, that decision can stand on its own merit. Look, if you want to play good play, look. Uh, the same spokesman of the president wrote an article and he was saying that there are so many members of everywhere who colluded in it, who conspired in it. So if you want to say that you want to be blaming, if you want to blame Obasanjo, at least Obasanjo, he, he mentioned so many, he just sh barely short of naming them. So like I said, it's not, if you want to go there, then you are going to lose the essence of what, you are, of, of what that decision is meant to be. Right. Because as I said, no, 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 no. Because the president who did it, uh -huh. but vicariously, colluded in doing it, and even the, the very ultimate the death of that guy in the hands of those who kept, he was the chairman of PTL. He was a major government functionary of the government that perpetrated the, the injustice.